Hello everybody, it's Alex Goodall here with a short video that picks up on something I mentioned yesterday which is about retrospectives, looking back into the past, learning from experience and improving your, or deciding what you need to change to improve your performance for the future. And this is a topic that comes from uh, an area called Action Inquiry uh, and in particular the idea of the four territories within that topic. So if you want to go and look up Action Inquiry in four territories then do a search on the internet. I'm modifying it, the ideas a little bit to uh, fit in with the context of people running small businesses. So the idea behind this technique is actually very straightforward. Uh, you just ask yourself four questions. But before you ask the questions, you've got to set the context. Uh, because the first question is going to be, uh, what was supposed to happen? But, so I've just given you the first question. But uh, you, you need to decide in what context. So the first thing to do is to set up the context. And the first, so is it, uh, you can, are you asking about your business? But this doesn't just apply to businesses, obviously it can apply to anything. So. Uh, is it to do with your business? Is it to do with your health? Is it to do with your relationships? Is it to do with your political ambitions, your uh, salsa dancing activities? You can really apply this across the board to anything at all. So decide the context and decide on the time frame. So in the context of, say, 2014 and in relation to my business, set that up, for, to make that statement first and then start on the questions. So the first question is, what was supposed to happen? So what was supposed to happen during 2014 in relation to my business? And the, the wording there is very important. What, what was supposed to happen? Not what, what did I do, but what was supposed to happen? So here we're talking about the results of the business. So uh, lots of things happened. You know, I did lots of things in my business. I set up a, a store, I recruited some employees, I did some outsourcing, I developed some products, uh, whatever, it, whatever it is, you can, hold, you can list a whole lot of things. And those things, you know, what happened is I did all those things, but that's not really what the question is asking. The question is asking, what was the results of all that? So really we're talking about the results. So the results of my business during 2014 were whatever they were. And ultimately, that's got to be some financial results. A business is about making money. It's obviously about more than that. It's about you know, sort of purpose and a direction in life. All sorts of other factors go into uh, running a business. Um, and you can include those as well. But the bottom line is it's about making money. If it's not going to make money, it's not going to survive. So the results have primarily got to do in the business context about what happened in terms of the, the, the money that you made, the profits that you made. Now... If you didn't set any financial goals for yourself at the beginning of 2014, then it's going to be hard for you to say what was supposed to happen. Nevertheless, think yourself back to the beginning of 2014, and if you had set some goals for yourself at that point, uh, what would they have been? And use those as to, uh, to answer the question, what was supposed to happen? Uh, and finally, uh, because you're obviously going to be wanting to do this on a regular basis, it's a good idea now to set some financial goals for 2015, maybe not just for the whole year, but also stages on the way, because you can repeat this, this sort of retrospective idea uh, at, at regular intervals during the course of the year. So set yourself some financial goals now for 2014, sorry, for 2015, so that when you come to do the same exercise later on, you'll be able to answer the question very easily what was supposed to happen. Uh, over the next few days I'll be going through the other questions and uh, talking about them as well. hope that was useful. Um, make comments on the box, ask questions below if you, if you have any, and I look forward to talking to you again shortly. Bye-bye for now.